Oh my gosh. Grey's Anatomy, season five, episode 24. I'm absolutely terrified. Everyone's been waiting for my reaction. Everyone's like, oh my God, you wait till you get to the end of season five. I'm very scared. I'm very scared. I, my, my prediction is that Izzy's gonna die. But then, is that too obvious? I mean, it is Grey's Anatomy. Maybe that's too obvious. So, I really don't know what to expect. I'm very, I'm very scared. Um, let's watch it. All right. Any changes overnight? Uh-uh. 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 Uh-
This is so unbelievably great. I don't understand what happened. Does this mean she's gonna live? I don't. I'm confused. Five minute Phyllis over here. Oh, is he? Oh, oh, did you get the tumor? You got it. Oh, my God. Awkward. And I can talk to you. That's not funny. What's wrong? It's actually very sad. Oh dear, poor Izzy. She's like the woman who couldn't remember her husband was dead. We had to keep telling her every five minutes. We had perfectly normal post-operative haze. Or the bleeding during the procedure blitzed her short-term retention. Did you screw up her brain? Kref. I'll be back. I'm trying to stay calm. Stay Free calm. Telling Alex to stay calm is like telling a, a bull to not run at red things, I don't know. Like, <laughs> he ain't calm. He hasn't got calm in his DNA. Did. Oh, oh. God, it's so disgusting. Oh, God. He's a hero. Ten blade. Not the drill. Oh, oh that noise. Oh, I can't watch it. Oh no, no, no. Oh, 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 this is disgusting. He's ah, awake. Oh, oh I feel all funny. <laughs> McSleazy's been been hurt. He's had his ego damaged. Okay. You brought up moving in together and marriage, and I put it off. And now you're embarrassed and you won't make eye contact with me because you feel that I have all the power in the relationship, but I don't want all the power in the relationship. I'm I'm happy to share it. <laughs> Can we just skip this part? Get some poor old Bibles. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with him? They've only known each other five minutes and he wants to live together. You are. I don't need a man to give you that, so you want to buy a house. Let's buy a house. He's gonna buy a house. You're good at that. He jumped in front of a bus for me. Why? <laughs> what did you do to O'Malley? Oh, here we come. <laughs> She's gonna kick his ass. They all are. <laughs> I love what everyone's reaction is. What? George in the army. They're all ignoring the patient because they're too concerned with George O'Malley. This dude is messed up. His face is messed up. They are fuming at him. <laughs> Why is there only one patient? Normally there's loads of patients. Maybe we're bouncier in Pete than general surgery, but I thought that there would be a yay. Or hey, I've got a plan to stop George Ewan. Yes. Yes. They're gonna stop him. George can't leave. It's only season five. 
It's like the main, one of the main characters. Why would you want to stop him? Because he joined the army. Don't you think that's a problem? I think that's awesome. Oh dear. Awesome? Oh dear. It's their first fight. It's going to be their first fight. Is it their first fight? I don't know. Who's trying to the fights. I'm going to chew. Uh, at 6 p.m., your idiotic colleague, George O'Malley, will finish his surgery. With She's chief. fuming. At 6 p.m., you will be standing beside us in the OR hallway, prepared to join in an intervention. Yes. A polite company might call it an intervention, though. <laughs> sure, interventions involve whooping people on the lines. <laughs> Oh, poor George. <laughs> She's just taken. <laughs> oh, she took them all down. Must be horrible, but no one knows who you are. There's no way of identifying that either. Like, poor man. Amanda, you can't be out here. Would you want to be all alone at a time like this? He throws me out of the way of a bus. I'm about to walk in front of and almost gets himself <sighs> killed. He literally, he swept me off my feet. He killed himself to save your life. That, that's no prince. That's an idiot. <laughs> no offence. I'm sure he's a lovely man. You ain't catching me phone a bus for no stranger. No way. There was no way. I stuck my neck out for you. You were my pick. And I appreciate that, but it's a big decision. It's not, frankly. It's the brass ring. It's the most exclusive. It's the most competitive. And we're as good as it gets. Nobody lands this thing and says no. My husband informed me yesterday that if I accept the Pete's Fellowship, if I sign on for another two years of training and the hours and the workload that come with it when I could be a general surgery attending and make it home for dinner, he will divorce me. <sighs> her husband's a piece of it's a trash. Honestly, I hate her husband so much. She deserves so much better. Bailey deserves the world. She deserves everything on a shining glittery platter i love her so much thinking about buying a house good for you meredith and i are going to go to city hall this afternoon getting married really mm. that's great news i just say if steven's kids are allowed to be happy you're allowed to get married you heard that right i don't like either of these men <laughs> i don't like either of these gentlemen <laughs> Do you think he has a shot? I've seen people come back from worse. Have you talked to Bailey about this peas and Tucker thing? No, I talked to Bailey about the army thing and George. Are you upset with me? <laughs> yes. No, I'm awesome. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Callie. No. It's not awesome. George can't go to war. She's right. <sighs> oh. Oh. What's wrong with all this? <sighs> no. I don't like the sleazy, but he is funny. He is funny. Shepherd got your whole tumor out. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's five minute finish back at it again. O'Malley joined the army. He's gonna be a trauma surgeon in Iraq. When did you wake up? <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone's reaction. What? When did you wake up? Um early, I can't quite remember. Seven forty five. Six point three, seven forty five. Alex, give her a break, man. Oh, Mally, George, you hear me? George? <laughs> We're dealing with it. It's not funny. It's not funny. It is. What's your potassium? Why don't we just give her the chart to read and try and memorize it? 
poor is he? That's not helping Alex, is it? She's not going to heal with you barking orders at her like a caveman. What about Yang? You know, she's my patient. I don't care if you're her husband. She signed a DNR. She signed a freaking DNR and made me promise she'd come out of this with a life. Not in a hospital bed. Not with no brain. She's going to need round-the-clock babysitters. We get an apartment together, she can't ever find a way to the damn toilet. Track her on her ankle case, God forbid. She wanders out the front door. Alex. Alex, man. I can handle this. She will get better. Maybe. Maybe not. It's on me. Her future is on me. He does need to calm down. You need to calm down. You're being too loud. It is weird that there's only one patient in the whole episode. Do we ever have that? I don't think we do. Right, is he's a patient. I'm trying to figure out why why people are so intent on me watching this episode and reacting to it. Just gonna watch. Seriously, that girl Amanda, she's in there loving a stranger. She thinks that's her prince charming. The eye roll. Yes. So yeah, I'm gonna go get married because I think I love Yang. To take the time to tell the people you love how much you love them while they can hear you. True that. Very true. I love you, Christine. No. You have changed. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have. Are they gonna hug? What? I'm gonna hug you. Oh. They're making me emotional because they're hugging. <laughs> I need to get a grip. Get a grip, Dan. George joining the army is awesome. Um, shut up. Um, no. You asked me who I was. I am a person who thinks that what George is doing is dangerous and terrifying and brave. I'm a person who thinks that that is brave. And I am a person who stood in an airplane hangar and watched them unload my brother's body in a coffin. And all we got was a flag. Oh. My brother died over there because there weren't enough doctors, Callie. So for my money, George O'Malley is a patriot. He's a hero and I am grateful that he exists. So yeah, the word I use is awesome. She really did pull the dead brother card. That's what she did. And now Callie feels like rubbish. Of course she does. I'm sorry. How was she to know? Did she know already? I don't know. Dump his ass. Dump his ass. Dump his ass. <laughs> I don't like him. I said, I said I love you. Me. Christine Yang. And you know that I am so, I am so sorry about no, it. No, damn it, not about the choking. It's it's like you come here and then you pull up my icicle and you make me love you and I can't, I mean, I don't want to. I, I can't breathe without you. Yes, you can. Get a grip, Christina. <sighs> you can do this, Christina. We can do this. All you have to do is just meet me halfway. All you have to do is say yes. Dump his ass. Keep asking for lime jello and don't like it. <laughs> so stop giving it to me. You get mad if I don't. I'm tired. What's O'Malley doing tomorrow? Joining the army. Do you remember that? I need a break. You don't think I need a break? Suck it up. What? God. Alex. Back off. Tough love. Sorry. Not it's right hard now. For you. You are not the one with the short term memory of a carrot. <laughs> the short term memory of a carrot. <laughs> okay. oh. Go ahead, get it off your chest. It's not like I'm going to remember in five minutes. Okay, I'm go. not the one with a carrot for a brain, but I'm married to it. Because yeah. of some crock of a wedding we walked into, and only because the two of us thought you'd be dead within a week. You made me promise you that you wouldn't live like this. So now what the hell am I supposed to do? Smother you with a pillow? Uh, shoot you up with a, an overdose of morphine? Not really psyched about that. 
Alex. Oh, I think you need some cake and some coffee. Sorry, I do. I told you to get it off your chest. You did. <laughs> Every last piece off his chest. Did you forget yet? Nope. Not yet. Give me a minute. Oh, Alex. Dirtbag husband. You chose your marriage. No, I'm leaving them. Because a marriage that results to ultimatums is not a marriage. I mean, what kind of husband does that? So, I'm going to be a single mom. It's not the time for new specialties. Oh, baby. Damn. I'm sorry. No, it's just the first time I said it out loud. I'm just going to go in. I love her so much. Are you sure about this? I mean, he might come around. He, he's just scared. <laughs> We're all scared. I mean, if you're not scared, you're not paying attention. I mean, one of my residents just signed up to go to war. That's scary. Another one just almost lost her life to melanoma. Now she doesn't know what day it is. That's scary. What time? She is not wrong. She's not wrong. Oh, I hate it when baby cries. Poor baby. I thought you were operating on John Doe. I already did. Right now I'm looking at houses. One has a stove fire. He's buying a house. This one in the backyard, the size of Montana. Ah, uh, the only reason that you're even talking about a house is to make me feel bad. You're trying to prove that you're moving on without me. So then I'll regret my decision and change my mind. Mm. From McSleazy to McStroppy, that's what he's gone to. A better woman than you. <laughs> Check in on Izzy. Maybe we can do that first and then go get married after. No, we can't because we have the George intervention after that. Uh, what else do? You know what? Tell them to prep him. We'll run to City Hall. We'll come back. We'll do it then. <laughs> Quickest wedding ever no, in the middle of work. Go. We gotta go. We gotta run to City Hall. We'll come back. We'll check on Izzy. We'll monitor John Doe. I'll go talk George out of joining the army. Look, we can do this. <laughs> there is no Busy day. day. Every day is like this. Every day there's a crisis. There's no time. Mary. I love you, and I do want to marry you today. But there is no time. You have a piece of paper. For what? I want to be with you forever. And you want to be with me forever. If we go. That, here we go, big old speech. They should really do this in the lift. Give me a piece of paper. I don't. I I I don't. I, I have post-its. Okay. Christina's post-its. That you'll love me. Even when you hate me. Nobody walks out, no matter what happens. No running. They won't stick to that. To take care of an old Senile, smelly. This is forever. Ah, oh, Meredith and McDrippy forever. Wedding, a post it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it's legally binding. Someone should tell them that it's probably not legally binding. I'm sure if you like Meredith and McDrippy, that this is a very tender moment. But for me, nah. Not married. Sorry to burst your carotid artery, but you're not married. 
Izzy's bedroom is just post-its. Very bright. What's your problem? Well, I'll tell you. I know that I'm supposed to be grateful for my new lease on life, but Alex marched in here and basically told me that being married to me was the worst thing that ever happened to him. Yeah, and that he was trying to decide if smothering me with a pillow was the best. She remembered. But she remembered it, right? How long ago was that? Okay, where is it? Where's what? Where's the note that says that? Did you write that down? No. <gasps> she did. No. Oh, Christina's face. Scheduled an intervention so that we could give O'Malley a piece of our minds about this idiotic army business. Now, did he leave already? O'Malley's grubbed in. He told me he was enlisting. I sent him home, told him to spend the day with his mom since he was leaving so soon. But he took off this morning. What? What? George's. No. I refuse to believe that George has left without a proper goodbye. No. What? George has not gone to the army. Tell me not. Tell me he hasn't. Oh, I love George. What? What's he trying to write on her hand? What? Is that George? Oh, what? What? Was that George? At least Dizzy's all right. Oh. No, what? What? It's George. It's George. John Doe is George. What? George can't. What? George and Izzy? Are you what? They can't die. They can't. What? She did. She signed a DNR. Oh my god. Is he's gonna die? Oh. Yes. Come on, Chief. I feel very emotional. What? Oh my god, that's George. Drink it in. Oh no, is he's this is, oh no, is he's dead? Is is he dead? You joking? You joking? Oh my god, it's, oh no. Are they both dead? The George and George and Izzy, they can't.
Is that it? Is that the end? 